a couple of them got killed, they knew better than to uh, uh, disrespect sure. other people's culture. Mm -hmm. That uh, we uh, could go anywhere, but uh, we had to also be very careful and make sure that if we heard any gunfire, mm -hmm. we were supposed to head straight back to the base right. and not get caught up and get, get shot up, really. Right. Uh, so uh, finally, that's where I was discharged. Okay. Now, but, but in Morocco, were your job pretty much nine to five, kind of like a nine to five, eight hour shifts kind mm -hmm. of thing? Okay. Well, when we were in Morocco, it, was, it wasn't, you know, the Korean War was over by now, so right. not wartime. So it, it normally it's four on, eight off. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. See, so you had four hours of duty and eight off. Okay. Uh, so when it's not wartime, it's, it's a little relaxed. You got, mm -hmm. you, you, uh, you have uh, uh, not a strenuous duty. No, okay. So, uh, mm -hmm. uh, and of course, what happened over there, uh, they built, the Americans built on that base, this, this communication center, mm -hmm. this American, but the French had that, uh, agreement with the United States that mm -hmm. uh, your military personnel could not wear uniforms off base. The only way you could wear uniform off base is if you were going mm -hmm. out of the country. Right, right. And, uh, and then uh, I, I did take leave while I was in Morocco and the same thing, Spain had the same agreement. Oh. They, uh, we went to Spain, Madrid, mm -hmm. and we had to have um, well, we used we, we wore civilian clothes, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I we were passing. Actually, we were passing through Spain for a day or two, then we were on our way to England mm -hmm. and, and for for relief. Okay. And uh, so, uh, you know, it's a, it, it, we uh, saw the bullfights and all that in, oh, okay. in Spain, of course. Mm -hmm. um, I was a, and my friend and I, we were, we liked to take pictures. Mm -hmm. And I had an eight millimeter camera that I uh, uh, constantly took pictures. Mm -hmm. And uh, I still got it, but that'll, it will break. I mean, it, it beautiful pictures. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. But I've got over 300 uh, 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 feet of, sure. of eight millimeter film, wow. except I can't. I can't uh, show it because I got an eight millimeter projector, mm -hmm. but they're what forty years old now, mm -hmm. and you know I've kept them in a cool place, but it's still kind of hard. Mm -hmm. And I did have some of them transferred to uh, VCR, mm -hmm. but the guy told me it kept breaking, so I couldn't. I wanted all of them, but uh, mm -hmm. he he said he couldn't do it, sure. and I was I was still. You know, with Hollywood restored all its field, I'd like, like to find somebody who could do that for me. But it was quite, it's quite expensive. Mm -hmm. But uh, we uh, took uh, uh, movies over in Morocco and all. Mm -hmm. And actually, I had well, didn't take too many over in Korea. But I had a couple of still pictures, but they were, we were on ship and uh, it we you know you could see Korea and all. Mm -hmm. and, I was just too busy, really, to mm -hmm. take pictures while I was over there. Okay. But uh, in, in Morocco, I had a lot more time. Okay, uh, okay. Now, um, you were discharged from Morocco. Yes, I was discharged. Okay. And I came back from Morocco. Well, when I, whenever I went on leave, I hitchhiked rides on airplanes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'd always go up to the naval air base and ask uh, uh, the admiral or whoever was uh, in charge of that plane if, if I could hitchhike. Mm -hmm. That's how I got to Spain, that's how I got to uh, to uh, uh, England. Mm -hmm. And when I was over in England, over Blackheath Airport, the dog an engine blew up out there. One of the engines blew up, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, but we made the landing. Okay. But, uh, Took 17 hours by plane over the ocean because we had the, um, if I remember correctly, we had we didn't have a jet, we had the you know propellers, props, yeah, propellers. propellers. Mm -hmm. And I, I uh, landed in Washington D.C. Mm -hmm. at the uh, Neville Air Base there. Yeah, I think. Andrews. Yeah, huh? Andrews. Hmm? Andrews. Yeah. Andrews. Okay. Yeah. 
And so um, I decided to hitchhike back to Detroit by plane, what I'd been doing over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Took me three days by plane to get home. Wow. wow. Because uh, at Andrew, I asked, there were very few flights coming back this way. Okay. And so the guy told me, one of the uh, captains, he told me, well, you know, if you, I'm going up to Nova Scotia. And if you get up there, uh, you might have a flight back here. So I said, okay. So I had my sea bag and, uh, and it was the, uh, um, the Haviland, mm -hmm. old World War II, the Haviland. And so we got up to Nova Scotia. Said, oh, we're going down to Michigan already. So one was going to Pennsylvania. So. I went to Pennsylvania. What is that, Patterson? What is that in Pennsylvania? I forgot that air base in Pennsylvania. And it was at night, so I had to sleep at, the, at that air base overnight. Got up in the morning, and they weren't going. I couldn't find any, any flights going, coming back here to Detroit. So, going to Columbus, I think it was. One, some, some base there. So finally, on the third day, because I kept going trying to get back and forth. On the third day, I had to take a commercial uh, uh, flight from Columbus to Detroit because mm -hmm. there was nobody mm -hmm. coming back this way. And, uh, mm -hmm. but, uh, I tried to hitchhike all sure, the way sure, uh, sure. to Detroit by sure, plane. Sure, you had a good experience with that before, so you might have tried it again yeah. and saved some dollars, obviously. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what was, it, what, what, what was it like getting back home? Yeah, what, what was it like? Like get well, back it was it was really uh, uh, great. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, since the temperatures in Morocco hits 120 and mm -hmm. all, uh, I was real dark. I mm -hmm. mean, dark. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, my, I went by my sister's house mm -hmm. and rang the doorbell, and she didn't recognize me because I was so dark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That uh, I came back. Actually, uh, one of the basic reasons that I had joined the Navy rather than the Army is that I was told that uh, first off, I was told the Navy, you know, you had specialties, which mm -hmm. they do, mm -hmm. but the GI Bill, or you know, the GI, they call it GI Bill, mm -hmm. and I always wanted to go to college, mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. uh, I got back and uh, and started trying to uh, to uh, go to college. And before I got out of the service, I had uh, sent my transcripts, which weren't good from high school, to University of Michigan, mm -hmm. and they had accepted me. Except they forgot they didn't know I was black. Mm. So when I went up there and showed them the letter, they wouldn't they wouldn't uh, let me enroll. So they told me that I should go to community college. Actually, it wasn't called community college, it was called junior college back mm -hmm. there. was mm -hmm. hardly no such thing as a community college. They were all junior colleges. And junior colleges, what distinguishes a, a, a junior college from a community college is that junior colleges, the first two years are exactly the same requirements that you have at a major university. You have the same, you have uh, four semesters of English, you have to have at least two of math and all that. Mm -hmm. A community college, first off, to get into a junior college, you had to have at least a C or better to get in. Mm -hmm. A community college, you can have ease and get in. Mm -hmm. it's, it's open enrollment. Uh, so uh, they changed it for several reasons. First, to get more money, but uh, most importantly, uh, uh, to allow people mm -hmm. who messed up in high school a second chance. Okay. And so if they had very poor grades, they could still get into, and that's still the case now, still get into a community college. Mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. and if they were very serious, and go ahead and, and get their associate degree and then go on to a four-year college. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, so I, I, I uh, couldn't do anything about it, so I went to Highland Park Junior College, then it's community college now, mm -hmm. 
and uh, 